Well, Carrie, so good to see you both. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, Absolutely. lovely to, to meet here. you. I'm really excited to chat. Um, Carrie, I'm going to start with you. I mean, I'm watching this film right down the middle. It's scary, so it's got the horror movie components, and but the drama and just kind of going on with everything really leans in too. In terms of like a writing perspective, because so you dro- you directed it with Will, but you also wrote it. Was there this tag team and push and pull with the horror and the drama, or do you think they were kind of complementing each other? Uh, I hope they were sort of complementing each other. I think when we were first learning about the Dust Bowl, it was like, it felt like a setting that was ripe to kind of um, push someone's psychology forward. So it was sort of just finding ways for the physical circumstances of this world to be escalating what's happening internally with Margaret. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's cool because like that that's literally the middle, right? Like the horror component and then the drama, the, the psychological kind of like so that's Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um Will, it's interesting because I'm just wondering from your perspective, from being a creative, because I'm a creative as well. I mean, horror movies and that kind of spooky season kind of world has always been around, but there's been such an interest and you know, popularity with a lot of that content because it's so um, rich in ideas and different ways to scare people. So as a director, what's it like working in the horror movie landscape at a time where there's a big appetite for it specifically? Uh, it's exciting. Uh, yeah. Right now there is, I think, there horror is such a evergreen genre and it has, it's a genre where you are able to try things and experiment with different kinds of stories uh, in a way that some other genres may not allow you some of that flex space. Yeah. So I don't know. It's fun and exciting. Carrie, is it interesting to think about, like, when you think about the going back in time for a film, is, like, are you thinking aesthetic? Are you thinking kind of character dynamics? Like, what is that mindset? Is it everything? Because I love that idea, right? Like, hey, you're making a movie in the 1930s. What do you think of specifically? Like, what is that like for you before going to camera? I, I think it was a couple of things. One, um, the idea that the Dust Bowl was kind of human made and that, yep. um, you know, we sort of over cultivated the land. It, it's a way, it's an interesting way to take something out of the here and now and talk about like climate change. Um, but also just um, the setting itself provided so many ways to visually like support the her unwinding psychology. So like the fact that people had to tie themselves to the house to see through the storm and seal themselves in, it all felt very, um, very connected to the the increasing threats of the genre itself. Absolutely. No, that's well said. And I can't wait for people to see Hold Your Breath. It's going to be available on Hulu October 3rd. Carrie, well, so good chatting with you both. Thank you so much for the time and all the best. Great to Thank meet you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.